What's good y'all? Welcome to Guys Play Games and I'm playing... What am I playing? Life is Strange for the PlayStation 4. It's a digital game that I found on the PlayStation Plus. Check it out if y'all want to play it. Uh, so as you can see, I'm fresh to this game. I haven't even started playing it yet. So we're just going to get right into it. It's, it's a save game one. I'll start here. Alright, I'll just go with new game. Life is Strange is a story based game that features play- Oh, it's like Telltales, okay. It's kinda cool, it's kinda cool. See how I do this one. And that scared me a bit. I forgot I'll put on subtitles, but it's I. Where am I? Oh, it's there. Happening? That's cool, that's cool. Where is here indeed? Wait, there's the lighthouse. I'll be safe if I can make it there. I hope. Please let me make it there. I'm saying you can't just run to there. Oh, we got the lighthouse. What else we got around here? I'm just trying to find my my bearings, here with my buttons and all that, but dang, check this tornado out, yo! I'm going over here first. Let's go check out what's going on over here first. Okay, let's just make it through this lighthouse. Seem a bit crazy out here, stormy, windy stuff. Oh my Dorothy right now, there's no place like home, you know what I'm saying? Life is strange like that. <laughs> Holy shit. Yeah, that's what I said kinda earlier. Film, you don't say. Of time. But he could be talking about photography, as he likely was. Okay, I'm in class. Everything's cool. I'm okay. From light to shadow. From color to chiaroscuro. Now, can you give me an example of a photographer? That's so not cool. How are they gonna do a girl like that? I didn't fall asleep, and that sure didn't feel like a dream. Weird. Diane Arbus. There you go, Victoria. Look at this crap. How can I show this to Mr. Jefferson? I can hear the class laughing at me now. Why Arbus? Because of her images of hopeless faces. You feel like totally haunted by the eyes of those sad mothers and children. She I haven't kept up with my journal as much as I should. And frankly, it's bullshit. Shh, shh, shh. Keep that to yourself. Ooh, I'm gonna take a selfie. I could frame but first, let me take a selfie. <laughs> a moment of desperation. I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie. A dumb word for a wonderful photographic tradition. And Max has a gift. Of okay. course, as you all know, the photo portrait has been popular since the early 1800s. Your generation was not the first to use images for selfie expression. Sorry, I couldn't resist. The point remains that the portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography for as long as it's been around. Okay. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? Uh, why are you asking me? You're asking me? L let me think. Um... 
You either know this or not, Max. I have my bro. Anybody here who knows their stuff. Still got Louis attitude. Daguerre was a French painter who created daguerreotypes, a process to give portraits a sharp reflective style like a mirror. Now you're totally stuck in the retro zone. Sad face. Very good, Victoria. The Daguerrean process brought out fine detail in people's faces, making them extremely... The Daguerrean sounds like Targaryen from Game of Thrones. The first American daguerreotype self-portrait was done by Robert Cornelius. You can find out all about... Can I go to that pen? The there we go. Or even... I can't believe I still have this pen. Hey guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday Heroes contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco where you'll be feted by the art world. It's great exposure and it can kickstart a career in photography. So Stella and Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. That dude got attitude problem. He's trying to hate on me. Oh, I see what's going on here. No wonder she getting the easy A's. Mm-hmm. Of course, Victoria has to have the bestest, newest, most expensive. I should have known. She'll have better equipment than Blackwell. Okay, I don't feel like reading all that. That feel, seems like a lot of hard work right there. Um, let's check out the notebook. Even her school books are gift wrapped. All right. I can't believe she made fun of me in class. What is she, 15 years old? She kind of thinking to herself here. Kate looks so sad and quiet today. Oh, well, she did just take a paper ball to the face. Hi, Kate. Oh, bye, bye. You seem quiet today. Just thinking too much. I hear that. Wanna go grab a cup of tea and bitch about life? Thanks, but not today. I have to go over homework. No worries. Let's hang later. Sure. Dang, okay. Uh, whose computer this is? Obviously, Blackwell spent bank on the computer. I'm gonna like use somebody it. Somebody was already working on this. Cool. All right, Blackwell. The teacher that seems to hate me a lot. Huh? This might make a cool shot. Oh, so she like a Peter Parker type of girl. I got a trophy. I got the Marco macro eyes. I was gonna say Marco eyes. All right. Oh. Uh. Now I wish I wouldn't have read this. Purge. Oh snap. Dang. Yo, Mr. Jefferson, you got problems. Can I speak to you for a minute? Excuse me. Mr. Jefferson, can I talk to you for a moment? Yes. Excuse you. No, Victoria. Excuse us. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. Do I have to? I just don't think it's that big a deal. Max, mm -hmm. you're a better photographer than alive. Now, I know it's a drag to hear some old dude lecture you, but life won't wait for you to play catch up. You're young, the world is yours, blah, 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 right? But you do have a gift. You have the fever to take images. To frame the world only the way you envision it. Now, all you need is the courage to share your gift with others. That's what separates the artist from the amateur. Ah, well, thank you for that. Uh, yo, this girl stay tripping, man. I don't, I don't like Every her. Every time I look at Victoria, I feel like she's talking smack about me. Yeah, Victoria need to be taught a lesson. She need to be pimp slapped. Put in check. Pictures. The forest around here always looks mysterious. Yeah, ain't forest meant to look like that though? You can never escape the lighthouse here. That's the lighthouse I saw in my dreams. Ain't that something? Alright, can I go now? 
Man, he even has the best plasma HDTV for a class monitor. Can't wait to watch some more documentaries on this bad boy. Wow. Documentaries for real though. And he's got his own poster. Here's the poster for the contest. Mr. Jefferson really expects me to enter. Why? I don't know if I'm ready for my 15 minutes of infamy. Man, she stayed doubting herself. She got some of that low self-esteem. Well, don't worry. I got you in my hands right now. I'm talking about this controller here, so I'm going to control your life. You ain't going to be shy no more. Let's get out of here. How cute I looked yet. I was about to. You Welcome to the real world. Hot. Huh. Then I might send you a special picture of my all right, they go to Geek Squad. I need a serious time out in the bathroom. Splash water on my face and make sure I don't look like a total loser. I hate that guy. It's so fucking boring. Square Enix presents. She's so fucking shy. Don't not entertainment. Life is Strange, Episode 1. Christ, Christ, whatever that word is. I don't feel like reading that anyway. To all of you, yes, this poster must stop fully dead in your tracks. Alright, great. Now they got this song playing. YouTube gonna give me attitude about copyright stuff. Looks like she's been gone for months. Alright, so this girl missing. Yo, my boy, you don't see me standing there? Just gonna walk through me? Can I get a drink? Just call it a sugar machine. That would be awesome if you put money in there and a bag of sugar dropped out. School's out, isn't it? So I might as well bounce. I saw the bathroom in the trailer, so I'm going to go in there. Empty. Good. Nobody can see my meltdown. Except for me. Man, I hope YouTube don't trip. Oh, uh, y'all see this, man? Illuminati just showing up in every game lately. We got Grand Theft Auto. Now we got them in this weird indie game. Now, who would bother to write that crap? Who's Rachel Amber? And why is she all that? Alright. I feel like the universe is taunting me everywhere I go today. It all started with that bizarro dream in class. Am I going crazy? Perhaps you are. Just relax. Stop torturing yourself. You have a gift. Fuck it. Okay. When a door closes, a window opens. Or something like that. Okay, girl, you don't get a photo op like this every day. Alright. Alright, but before I take a picture of that, let's just have a look at these this posters. Must drive people to have sex. Dang man, they stay writing on things, man. Alright, let's let's sneak up to this this here butterfly. Yo, I got them pigs. Why he all up in here? It's cool, Nathan. Don't stress. You're okay, bro. Just come to three. 
Don't be scared. You own this school. If I wanted, I could blow it up. You're the boss. Uh, just do it on a cycle. You want? I hope you check the perimeter, as my step ass would say. Now, let's talk business. I got nothing for you. Wrong. You got hella cash. That's my family, not me. Hella boo -boo, cash. Poor little rich kid. I know you've been pumping drugs and shit to kids around here. I bet your respectable family would help me out if I went to them. Man, I can see the headlines now. Leave them out of this bitch. I can tell everybody Nathan Prescott is a punk ass who begs like a little girl and talks to himself. You don't know who the fuck I am. Oh, snap. This dude going to pull out the gun. Doing? Come on, put that thing down. Don't ever tell me what to do. I'm so sick of people trying to control me. You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs. Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! Oh. No! Well, she dead. She she lasted a good uh, five minutes. Whoa. What the fuck? Edge of tomorrow, anybody? How can that be? I was in the bathroom. He shot that poor girl. I held up my hand. And then I was back here. Edge of tomorrow. Okay, here we go. I already heard this lecture. I'm Captain Cage. From color. Now Kate is being hassled again. And if Victoria's phone rings, this is real. Oh, this is real. Can you give me an example of a Damn, photographer not believe who this. captured the human condition in black and white? Okay, so that's okay. the second Isn't time. Crazy? I might as well go all the way. Second time's different, I guess. Actually, reverse time. Victoria, why Arvis? Because of her images of hopeless faces. I actually did it. Photographer who perfectly captured the human time. Yo, Prince of Persia? Anybody? Bueller? Max, don't freak out. Not yet. There you go, Victoria. Why Arvis? Alright, let me take a selfie again. You feel like totally haunted. When I took my selfie, Jefferson asked me a question. If he does again, I'll know this is for real. Kids call a selfie. A dumb word for a wonderful photographic tradition. And Max has a gift. I know I'm not dreaming this. You all know the it's real. Has been I can tell. The early 1800s. Your generation so I can go back in time. That's right. Selfie expression. What if that girl isn't dead yet? The point can I save her? Portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography. I need to go to the bathroom quickly and check it out. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please... Tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits. <coughs> okay. Well, oh man. I'm sorry. I feel sick. May I be excused? Nice try, Max. But you're not going to get away that easy. We can talk more after class. Is there anybody oh, here shit. Knows Jefferson wants to keep me after class. And I need time to save that girl. The process that gave portraits a sharp reflective style like a mirror. Now you're totally stuck in the retro zone. Sad face. Very good, Victoria. What if I rewind again process, and give him the right answer? Alright, so yeah, let's rewind that. With your retro and sad face type stuff. Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? All right, I'll give you the correct answer. The Daguerrean process, invented by a French painter named Louis Daguerre around 1830. Somebody has been reading as well as posing. Nice work, Max. Ha! Sad face. The Daguerrean process made portraiture hugely popular, mainly because it gave the subjects clear defined features. 
You can learn more when you actually finish reading the assigned chapters. Yeah, I know all the answers now. So far way ahead of Evan. And guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday Heroes contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco where you'll be feted by the art world. It's great exposure and it can kickstart a career in photography. So Stella and Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see. Max, you are not crazy. You are not dreaming. It's time to be an everyday hero. Yeah, I kind of noticed that uh, that we're not crazy. Like we already came, got past that point. I see you, Max Caulfield. Don't even think about leaving here until we talk about your entry. Uh, man, I ain't even do nothing, bruh. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. Here you go, this speech again. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure I have one. Giving yourself the output, I'm sure you must have about a thousand pics by now. It'll take a long time to find a good one. Max, don't wait too long. John Lennon once said that life is what happens while you're busy making other plans. Ah, right, here we go with the speech again. Go on now. Don't let me stop you. I don't need to, like, rewind anything. Okay, I want to quickly... Undo your previous actions using the rewind, okay? Uh. Okay, so... Excuse me, Mr. Jefferson, can I talk to you for a moment? Yes, excuse you. No, Victoria. Excuse, excuse us. us. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. I'm on top of it. I think John Lennon once said that life is what happens while you're busy making other plans. Max, you're on fire today. All the right answers, good. Make sure you finish working on it by today. I have faith in you. Ha! Yeah, man, I got all the answers, man. This this, this game kind of cool, man. Sorry I'm so quiet. I was kind of just getting into this game, so I'm going to peace out. Go save that girl right quick in the bathroom. I hope I have enough time to get to the bathroom. Before homie with the gun, like I can't tell anybody. I'll think I'm crazy. Yeah, I kind of figured that R2 was run, cause in all Telltale games, that's run as well. So we just gonna go in here. We gonna see what's really good. Retrace every step. I washed my face. I shredded my photo. Then the butterfly flew in, and I took a photo. I mean, you ain't have to do all that again. Leave I'm sure it's gonna happen either way. I can tell everybody Nathan Prescott is a punk ass who begs like a little girl and talks to himself. You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around with. Where'd you get that? What are you doing? Come oh, on, put that thing down. Tell me what to do. I'm so I need a hammer to break it open. I would. We're going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs. Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! Uh. Holy shit, I can't let this happen. If I can reverse time again, I can help her. Ever tell me what to do. I'm so sick of people trying to control me. No way. There you go, there you go. Don't touch me again, freak. Another shitty day. That did not happen. This cannot be real. I just saw a girl get shot and then saved her. Believe what that it's on? real. Do not freak out. Why you? Why is she still tripping? Clearly she got a gift. Man, I will be tripping out. I will be tripping out the first time around, but not in the bathroom. Hey, do you hear that fire alarm? That means you should be outside. I had to use the bathroom. Girls always use that excuse. Excuse for what? For whatever you're up to. Your face is covered in guilt. The alarm tripped me out. Then trip on out of here, Missy. Or are you hiding something? Huh? Thank you, Mr. Madsen. The situation is under control. There's no emergency here. Leave Miss Caulfield alone and please turn off that alarm since that's your job. What the matter, of guy? Yeah. <laughs> that's right. Walk away. <laughs> 
<laughs> I got him. Let's get out of here. Thank you, Principal such and such. You look a little stressed out. Are you okay? I'm... I'm just a little worried about my future. You're sweating pinballs. Is that all you're thinking about? You could always be up front with me, Max. Or have you done something wrong? Is that it? Well, Max, talk to me. Dang, why are you pressing me like that? <sighs> I just saw Nathan Prescott. When I'm a snitch. <laughs> in the girl's room. Nathan Prescott. You sure? Yes. He was in the bathroom talking to himself with a gun. I saw everything. He was babbling like crazy. Okay, slow down. Slow down. So now you saw this without him seeing you. I was hiding behind a stall. I have the right to be there. It's the girls' room. I know, I know. I just want to be completely clear what happened. Mr. Prescott happens to be from the town's most distinguished family and one of Blackwell's most honored students. So it's hard for me to see him brandishing a weapon in the girls' bathroom. So what happened next? Then... then he left. I ran out here wondering what to do. Are you gonna bust him? This is... serious charge. I'll look into the matter personally. Thank you for bringing it to me. Man, he in on it. That's it? After what I told we'll you? We'll continue this discussion later. He in, in on it. Office. Please go outside with the rest of your class now, Miss Caulfield. They usually in on it. This academic drone won't do anything since the Prescott family owns Blackwell now. Should I rewind and change my story? Nah, I'm not gonna change it. Let that dude look into it, but he in on it. Something ain't right. Uh, we on campus now. It was really good. We got the statue. Everyone just kind of chilling out. Ooh, trouble. <laughs> Nathan in trouble. What up, Hayden? What up, Hayden? Hey, Hayden? There she is. The retro selfie master. That's me, all right. You look relaxed as usual, Hayden. It's a skill one cultivates at Blackwell. Especially when one represents the Vortex Club. Not to boast. Ah, right, that's what's up, my, my dude. <laughs> what the hell is the Vortex Club anyway? It seems so elitist. Only if you're not cool enough to get in. And it doesn't hurt your resume. If you say so. I do. But you should actually come hang with us one night then you wouldn't be so inclined to gossip. I will hang with y'all. You mean hang with a Vortex Club? That sounds like a setup to a horrible prank. Chillax, paranoia girl. We're not that desperate for fun. We know how to do that on our own. It seems weird to think about partying with all those Rachel Amber posters up. You're high. Rachel used to hang out with us too. She was a blast. Smart, not bitchy like, you know. So, you knew Rachel Amber? I knew she liked to party. <laughs> Fun to be around. Oh, yeah, and she was hot. So, you actually liked her and stuff. Wait. So... Rachel was actually a member of the Vortex Club? No. Rachel was like her own club. She was actually too cool for us. And I'll deny I ever said that. So did you like like her and stuff? Did Victoria like Rachel? She seems like the jealous type. Don't think you know Victoria so well. She respected Rachel. Even if she didn't act like it. What do you think happened to her? Um, uh, whatever happens to people who disappear without a trace. Do you really want Nathan Prescott to represent? Oh, please. Nathan is like everybody's voodoo doll. Kill the rich kid. He's alright and a fun guy to hang with. Fuck the haters. 
All right, fair enough. Fair enough, but I'm still not going to party with him. Your loss, bro, is fucking hilarious when he's blazed. And he does always have the best shit. Let's talk later, Hayden. Bye, Max. Now, I have to get my chemical on and study. We should get you and Dana out one night. I don't know, man. Y'all seem like y'all trying to set me up. She, she right. She trying to pull. They trying to pull that carry stuff on me, make me, make me trip out and, and destroy the whole high school. What's up, girl? Hi, Brooke. Let me guess. You want to fly my drone? I'd love to. I love planes and balloons and this is neither. Do you know what a drone really is? A weapon. Damn, why everybody got so much attitude? Uh, too many conspiracy sites. This might be too complicated for you. Honey, Warren said you were smart. Please, step back. Hi, Brooke. Let me guess. You want to fly my drone? Is that really yours? Is that even legal? Of course. Nobody knows about it yet. Isn't it considered a weapon? I apologize if I'm sniffing. Uh, you read too many conspiracy sites. This might be too complicated for you. Honey, Warren said you were smart. Please, step back. Alright, so that failed like on both ends. I'm not gonna rewind that again. Let's see what's in her little bag. What a complicated name for such a tiny drone. All right, since I know the name and everything, I'm going to just rewind this right quick and then get right back into it. Hi, Brooke. Let me guess. You want to fly my drone? That looks like a high-fly drone. Model B400 EVO. Now, that's a nice piece of tech. You're full of surprises. Why would you know that? Because I'm smart. Photography. Drones are perfect for that, especially those with great range. It's a new era of images. Most impressive, Max. Warren said you were multifaceted. Here, give the drone a whirl around campus. Oh, watch me crash this. Uh, snap. Uh, uh snap. Okay, where we going? No. Can I go forward? This is so cool. I'm flying a drone. I'm gonna crash this. Is this thing flying on its own? I don't feel like I'm in control right now. Am I in control? Nah, I'm not in control. Can I can I swerve? Nah. Had me thinking I was in control. Alright, well I'm done for now. Thanks. Appreciate it. Yeah, that was pointless. I, ain't, I wasn't even trying to fly that. Okay, let's see. We got something in the journal. Don't ignore this message. Sorry, running late. Insane day. I'll meet you in the lot. Looking cool, you'll see. My camera will be ready. See you shortly. I hope so. Ooh, boy. Okay, I better get to my dorm and grab that flash drive. And your dorm is where exactly? Then I made the possibly fatal decision to inform Principal Wells that I saw Nathan waving a gun in the bathroom. I didn't think I should mention the girl or my new rewind abilities for obvious reasons. He didn't want to believe me and almost made me feel like... Wait, so where am I? Tell me something I don't know. Okay, so my school day started with an apocalyptic dream. Okay, I... We have a message from Dad. 
Have a very special 18th birthday. You're an adult, but you're still our little girl. Check your account. Don't blow it all at once. All right, Warren. <laughs> I apologize for the sniffing, man. I stay sniffing. All right, that, this this has got to be a Warren right here, right? Push him off his skateboard. I'm gonna push that dude off his skateboard. What's good, my dude? What's good, Justin? Yo, Justin, check out the max. <laughs> Come to thrash? Oh yeah, bring it. What's your first move gonna be? Uh. Jump? You're such a poser. If you can't even name a simple nose slide or a tray flip, you should walk on. Alright, let's rewind. Yo, Justin. Check out the max. Come to thrash? Oh yeah. I came to nose slide. But I'd love to see somebody do a tray flip. Oh sick. You're not a poser. Nah. I just can't skate worth shit. Oh, check it. We're gonna destroy some rails for you. What do you want to see? Go for a tray flip. Yeah. Let's get Trevor all over that action. I'm trying to see a tray flip. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> you good, my boy? That was some tray flip right there, dog. <laughs> Yo, let me take a photo. He totally tray flipped on that. <laughs> oh man, that was so up. Okay. All right, so let's get to the dorms. I've had enough fun out of heat, fun out here. Um, um, where the dorms at? This campus is too quiet right now, yo. Like. Oh, there's this chick. This chick that be mean mugging me. No, that's not her. That's not her. Oh, it's Stella. What's hey up, Stella? Stella. Hey, I know you. You're the new quiet girl in Jefferson's class. Isn't he incredible? He's aloof. He seems like he's always above you. Not like a snob, but like you don't know what's in his head. Yeah, loof. Mr. Jefferson just has his own style. If Victoria wasn't all over him, I would definitely make a move. Oh, so y'all crushing on Mr. What's his name? Now that you mention it, he doesn't respond to Victoria's flirting. That means he has good taste. You have a lot to learn here at Blackwell. Rachel Amber absolutely had sex with him. Well, I heard that from a good source. Hmm, interesting. Uh, interesting. See, you learn something new every day at school. Like I said, you have a lot to learn. Max, see you in class? Okay, so he he, he kind of, he probably know where Rachel at. Let me look at this for a That's sec. That's so cool that Blackwell is doing a show of Mr. Jefferson's work. All right, let's see. Yeah, dormitories. That's where we at. Wait, hold on. Who this dude here? Clever. Can I take a picture of it? I'm trying to take a picture of it. Why? I'm just trying to rewind. Hello? Max, I don't feel like talking. What's wrong? Nathan Prescott, little rich bitch kid. He thinks he can own people like his parents own Blackwell. Like he owns the Vortex Club. Yes, he's a nasty piece of work. He sure is. You, you know him. I busted him today with a gun. What? Seriously? I saw him wave a gun around today and I went to the principal. We'll see what happens next. You are my new hero. Finally, karma comes to Blackwell. Hey, no problem, my boy. Don't tell nobody I told you. I didn't mean to tell you. I wasn't trying to tell you. Alright, let's go talk to this dude right quick. I like talking to everybody, man. Evan's portfolio always looks so uber pro. I'd love to see his photos in there. Yo, Evan, can I speak to you for a minute, bro? Hey, Evan. 
Mind if I check out your cool portfolio? Let's see if you're worthy of it, Max. You'll have to answer a simple question. Who photographed the famous fallen soldier? Ah, easy, it's Eugene Smith. Gotta be Eugene Smith. Well, they both were famous war photographer images, but you should know the difference. Good try. Wrong answer. All right, let's try this again. Hey, Evan. Mind if I check out your cool portfolio? Let's see if you're worthy of it, Max. You'll have to answer a simple question. Who photographed the famous fallen soldier? Well, obviously it was Robert Dun Doin Do Yeah. Isn't it Robert Dorno? Oh my. You can't even tell the difference between street photography and photojournalism. No portfolio peak for you. Dang, bro. Okay. You're gonna make me keep rewinding. Hey, Evan. Mind if I check out your cool portfolio? Let's see if you're worthy of it, Max. You'll have to answer a simple question. Ah, uh, okay. Can you photograph the famous fallen soldier? Robert Kappa, of course. Robert Kappa, of course. <laughs> I love his work, despite the controversy about that photo. My, my. This quiet child knows things. That's why I'm here. You're a kindred spirit, Max. Would you care for a perusal of my portfolio? It's not a privilege I grant to many. I'd be honored, sir. Yay! I get to look at his portfolio. That's what I came here for? Oh, he knew Rachel. Yo, let's stop. Hey, Evan. As you can see, Rachel Amber was my favorite model here. She knew exactly what angles worked best with my eye. You were close. Like brother and sister in arms. She understood me, never judged me. I hated her vortex club click, but she never acted like she cared. Her friends were her friends. What do you think happened to her? Nothing good, Max. Nothing good. Yo, that's kind of deep right there. Come on, Logan, bring it, bro. Yeah. I need to go to my room and return Warren's flash drive. Uh, we got a couple of jocks here to the left. We got a couple of jocks to the right. We got this chick with some purple hair. Alyssa. What's good, Alyssa? Oh. Hi, Max. How are you doing? Fantastic. I'm by myself for eating chiclet. Pretty soon I'll be bonding with Victoria at the Vortex Club. I think you're better off reading chiclet. Good point. Now if you'll excuse me. Yeah. Okay, uh, you, you're excused. What's in the recycle bin? Glad to see our campus is eco-friendly. Oh, look who it is. She, they just gonna block my. They just gonna block my entrance. Can, can I? Can I get through, ladies? Uh, move. Oh look, it's Max Caulfield, <laughs> the selfie hoe of Blackwell. What a lame yeah. gimmick. Even Mark, Mr. Jefferson, falls for your wake hipster bullshit. The Daguerrean process, sir. You could barely even say that. I guess you got your meds filled. <laughs> Since you know all the answers, I guess you have to find another way into the dorm. We ain't moving. Oh, wait. Hold that pose. Man, y'all straight rude. So original. Don't worry, Max. I'll put a vintage filter on it right before I post it all over social medias. Now, why don't you go fuck your selfie? Wow. Yes, Victoria. I'll get your bony ass out of my way. Okay. Okay. I mean, there's a ladder. Why don't I just climb up there and stuff? I don't want to mess with that ladder and hurt poor Samuel. I just want to get Victoria the hell out of the way. 
All right, yeah, I've got an idea. These jocks gonna show me what they made of. Okay. Let's 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 head over here. Sweet. Or no. Dang, that chick always looking all lonely. She she gonna flip on someone one day. Ooh, I'm getting ideas already. What we got here? This main sprinkler valve looks easy enough to use. Can I can I use it though? Anything I can grab? No. I must have missed something. I should rewind. What I miss? I don't know what I miss. Talking about I missed something. Okay. He put it on the hook. Oh boy, that actually hurts me. What's good, my boy? Can I? Can I? <laughs> there goes Samuel Da Vinci to paint the window. That's right. Okay, let's see if this works. I'm gonna just go chill over here with my homegirl Alyssa, like nothing happened. There go my homie uh, Samuel Da Vinci. I guess he related to Da Vinci. I swear the shirt looked like something out of GTA. Hook it up. There we go. Close, but no cigar. They have to be right under the bucket. What the hell? All right. <sighs> Ruining my Let's tamper with this thing again. Okay, let's see if this works. Sorry, let's talk. No paparazzi allowed. Oh yeah, the, the sprinkler's gonna make the move, right? Use it. What the hell? Are you kidding? Look at this! Chill, Victoria. It's just water. Yeah, water on my cashmere. Do you know how much this fucking outfit costs? You look great. I can't even chill on the steps. Come on, my boy. Go on, man. Let that let that paint spill. Come on. No way. Uh, <laughs> oh, Sam, I'm sorry. Wet, wet paint is not good for hair, no? Sorry. Get the hell away from me, weirdo. Hold on, hold on. We'll get some towels. We'll be right back. So move your ass before I drop. It worked. Don't mess with Max, bitches. That's right. Uh yeah. Oh, uh, what's the matter? You uh, you uh, got. Hey, Victoria. What do you want, Max? Oh, I'm like fun. Don't say a word, Max. Oh, wait, hold that pose. 
and no filter meeting before I post this. Now please move. I've had a messed up day and I'm going to my room. You do that? I know where you live. So does Nathan. Oh, so you trying to say Nathan gonna Nathan kill me or something? Nathan ain't gonna kill nobody. I run this. I can rewind it. I can stop time before he even try to kill me. Alright, that's Slay's room. Taylor is a slave. Red Rum, aka Murder. Stomp on Bigfoot. Fire Alarm. Okay, I'm trying to find my room. Where my room at? Max's room. There we go. Home sweet home. My favorite cocoon. Alright, I think I'm going to stop it here for now. I'm sorry I was kind of quiet this time. Like, I was really getting into this game. This game is something else. And, uh... Yeah, thank you for watching, guys. Play, play, play games. Uh, remember, hit that like button. Please comment. Please subscribe. <laughs> nah, I'm kidding. Uh, just, just comment if you want to see a video similar to this one or subscribe. You know what I'm saying? If not, I'm just trying to entertain y'all. I hope y'all had fun watching this. Uh, I will post the next episode up soon. Well, the next chapter of episode one. So, yeah, thank you for watching GPG. Peace.